Jason, the reason Dennis and I are here today is because we think that other people need to know who you are. And I probably, I think the first question I'd like to ask you is, what was your inspiration for developing Pain Relief Miracle? Well, you know, my mother was having some severe pain in her hands um, and numbness, and she couldn't actually do her beading jewelry. You know, she really loved to do that. And so sort of like your mom, you know, you really wanted to help her. Well, you know, my mother and I were traveling one day in the car, and she was using one of the popular pain relief topical formulas that a lot of people use. And it was, the windows were up in the car, and she put this stuff on, and I mean, it burned my eyes, and I started to sneeze, and I was like, what is that stuff? She told me the name, and I thought, well, I, that's not acceptable. we got to do something about this. Because she was putting it on more than 10 times a day and got, barely gave her any relief. So I have, a, a, I have a master's degree in Chinese herbology as well as Chinese acupuncture. So you know, I started putting the formula together to help her. And you know, it's been a four-year process. And as of last, I guess, last August, I perfected it, I, th I think. The scent also as well as the effectiveness. And people have used it for more things than, than just pain and bruising. And the, the funny story was, is I, you know, I didn't think much about it. We had it in, in these homemade printed labels that we had from the computer in these glass jars. And I just would give it to, to patients here and right. there. And they you know, seemed to think it was, mm -hmm. it was a good thing. But then I got an email from a guy in Texas. And he said I, he, that his fingers were cut off in an industrial accident. They reattached them. And that, um, but he still had hand pain. So he was, in the, he was in the bank down there in Austin, which is where I went to school. Well, six months before that, so it's been over a year now, I met a lady on the airplane who I was just chatting with, like you do with people on the airplane, and, and she overheard this gentleman in the bank talking to his teller about this story. She says, well, you need to call this guy in Casper, Wyoming, named Jason Laird, and he's got this topical stuff that will help you. So he sends me this email, and I thought, hmm, maybe we have something that I didn't realize. Because I didn't actually develop it as a business, I developed it to help my mom. And we had a lady that came in um, two weeks ago, and she came in to me for back pain, for acupuncture. And so we, I was telling her about Pain Relief Miracle, and so she got some, put it on her back, and then I noticed on her leg she had this kind of a strange bandage. And it turns out she had a, a two-inch deep ulcer in her leg. Wow. It looks like somebody took a took a you know, a ice cream scoop and scooped out part of her calf. And, um, it, you know, it was painful. And it, she'd had it for seven months, I think, since July. And nothing, nothing she tried, nothing the doctors tried worked for her. And I said, you know, if nothing else is working, you might as well give it a shot and spray it in there. I said, it'll sting, but, you know, put it in there three times a day. That was on a Monday, I believe. She came in the next Thursday or Friday. And I said, well, how, how did it go? And she said, well, I put it on for two days and I went to my doctor's appointment and the doctor took the bandage off and he says oh my gosh this thing's healing what are you doing and she told you know she yeah. said what she was putting on there and you know so that was really a neat thing to even have a doctor recognize mm -hmm. that you know something yeah. was working that ha that you know nothing had previously worked wow. and so it turns out that it just has helped so many people with more things mm -hmm. than than just bruising and pain one of the big things that I really want is because of my youngest daughter has migraines. And I know that we've had a lot of people say, I put them on my temples or my back of my neck for a migraine. I know it works because right. I want to get it for my youngest daughter. I mean, we had one guy at, at Christmas, he, he had a headache and he put it on and within probably less than 10 minutes, his headache was gone. And then, you know, I, show, I shared with you the text my cousin just sent. He said, he said man, this is the only thing that, I've, that works on his headaches. Mm -hmm. He said he puts it on and within 20 minutes his headache's gone and it stays away. And he, and he says, I'm so proud of you. So that was kind of a neat thing. And then the shingles things, we just keep getting more and more people coming in with shingles that have mm -hmm. tried everything. And nothing works, the, and the pain, you know, thankfully I've never had shingles, but you know, f according to the patients I've had, it's bad. It's, it's, bad. it's like bad. a hot poker mm -hmm. and you know, their doctors haven't been able to help them. And they, you know, even though they've tried, and, and so they, somebody recommended Pain Relief Miracle, and they put it on, and the pain goes away. And one of the coolest stories that, about the shingles that I saw was um, a guy come, came in probably a couple weeks ago and said, you know, I heard about this Pain Relief Miracle stuff. What is it? And I, and I said, well, what do you have? And he says, I've got shingles. The sh act, you know, it's so painful, I can't, I can't hardly function sometimes. It's like a hot poker in my back. 
a friend had recommended him here in Casper to come in. And I, I wanted to see for myself, because I know if it's going to work, it's going to work, you know, pretty quickly usually. So I brought him back to one of my treatment rooms and sprayed it on his back. And I said, well, you know, we'll hang out at the front desk, talk to Luprell for 20 minutes, and I'll come check on you. And then I came down, I went to my office, got a pen, realized I forgot some paperwork at the front desk, and I walked down and he says, my pain's only a one, I want a big bottle. <laughs> that was less than two and a half minutes. Wow. So I was like, wow, this is really pretty neat stuff. So, you know, the, the expansion of the things that this is helping is, is beyond my expectations. Well, when you started this business, actually in 2010, in the summertime, right. you have grown so fast with your product. And you make your own product. I do. It's I mix it with my own hand. hands in the back, right. yeah. Sure do. You, you know, it's, it has its 2100% uh, increase or something like that in six months. And That's awesome. You know, so in fact, we, we, we today is my 10th year in the business, basically. Mm -hmm. And for Rising Lotus, which is my clinic, this is our fifth year anniversary today. When people see me, they go, again, who is this Jason? That's why we're here, to make sure they know who Jason right. Laird is. Well, it's, it's interesting because, uh, you know, my family has been here for, you know, who knows, 80, 90 years or something, whatever it's right. been. You know, my grandfather started Kistler Tent and Awning and, you know, sold it to some great people. And, you know, my grandmother has been here, you know, I mean, her grandparents, I think, came, came in, you know, as some of the settling founders. And so, you know, people know our family. But, you know, a lot of people say, you know, you come up with something like this, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't intend to have it be right. such an amazing thing, I guess. But I see that it helps so many people, and, and then they think, you know, maybe I got it from somewhere, or bought it, or, you know, how did you do this? And, you know, I think it's a lot of it is, is you put your heart into something, and good things happen, so. Yeah, it's a great product. It is. Well, thank you. Well, and we're glad that you shared your story because I think that that's something that people really want to know. They want to know who the master is behind all of this. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever say I'm a master, but you know, I think, I think you have you have a spirit that runs through you, and good things happen when you do when you, you do. You have certain a passion things. for this. Yeah, that's I do. Bottom line. And I have to say, I really, you know, Laprell sitting over here behind me, and I really couldn't do a whole lot without her. So. Behind I appreciate every her. good man is a better woman. Right. And I, I, in my case, I have her and my mother and, and Amber, so mm -hmm. it's been great. That's good. good.